Hey, have you been longing to make your own pickles, but really don't want the hassle of going through the whole canning process? Well, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to make refrigerator half sour pickles. Hey, it's that time of year, and I'm sure a lot of you out there are planting your gardens. So I'm going to give you an idea, something very simple to make. And the reward is just through the roof. And that's going to be refrigerator half sour pickles. I've made these, I don't know how many times in the past and they always come out. And the best thing is you don't have to wait weeks. You only get to wait a couple of days. You put them in the refrigerator. You don't have to go through all that canning process. This is so simple. Um, once you see this, I can guarantee most of you out there will probably go ahead and do it. Maybe some of you are already doing this. So what am I gonna do? I've got some cucumbers that I bought. Hopefully later on in the year I'll get some fresh ones. I mean these are fresh, but I'm talking about out of the garden fresh. And I'm using these here, these little mini, these mini cucumbers, because they got a light skin on them, a thin skin. So this will uh, take to the brine really well. I have about 20 or so of the uh, small cucumbers already quartered up. You cut them in half, you cut them in half again, you get a quarter. And I've taken both ends off as well. So I have my brine here, and what goes into my brine is I have five and a half cups of hot water, a half a cup of white uh, vinegar, um, and three tablespoons of salt. Preferably kosher salt or sea salt. Do not use iodized salt. So in this case, I use sea salt. And then I go ahead, and I mix that all together till the, till the salt is nicely dissolved, and then I just let this cool down. Um, what else do I have? I've got six cloves of garlic that I've minced up. I have my own sort of pickling spice. You can make your own or you can buy pickling spice. And I've made this very simple. I've got some coriander seeds in here, some black pepper seeds, um, and I've got a couple of bay leaves. And uh, then I also have some crushed red pepper. All right, so I have two jars here that have airtight lids on them. I'm gonna take the lids off. We're going to get this started. I'm going to go ahead and add my seeds and my bay leaves. Probably about half of this. I've got about two tablespoons of spice mix that I've made. So I'm just going to divide it up in half. Half into this jar. Half into this jar. That's looking good. I'm going to take a pinch of my red pepper because I like a little heat. My pepper flakes and I'm going to go ahead and divide my garlic between both. That's it. See how simple this is? Now I'm going to take my cucumbers and I have washed my hands really well before I started this and I'm going to kind of put this on a little angle a bit so I can fit these in here standing up. Hopefully I've got enough cucumbers. Oop, just drop one. Get these in there. Nice and tight. There we go. There's one jar. Now for the next jar. Looks like some of these might be a little bit on the long side. We'll see. We'll get it crushed down. We'll get them covered. The key is you got to make sure you get these covered with the brine. And they're packing it nicely. There we go. Nice and tight. Now I'm going to go ahead and split up my dill here between both containers. I'm going to smash it in there. I had a few seeds that fell over into this container. So anyways, there we go. Now all I'm going to do is add the brine. Now I can vouch that 
these half sours are just as good as the real McCoy that you would get down at some place like Cactus. Because we went to Cactus a couple years ago. And uh, I just had to have their half sours. In fact, they give you free pickles with uh, free pickles with a sandwich. Oop, I'm spilling it all over here. And uh, when I had the half sours, first thing I said to Lori was like, whoa, my half sours is just as good as these. So these are just as good. I've got just enough. Just enough brine for both. Okay, so now time to get the lid on. I have enough brine that's covering the pickles. Let's kind of get this on carefully without spilling it. And I put this back in the bowl just in case I overload it. Looks like I did just a little bit. Give it a little turn. Disperse all the ingredients inside. Set that to the side. I get my other one on, and then we'll get that a little bit of a shake. Then we'll get these in the refrigerator. You gotta set them in the refrigerator for at least three days. After three days, have out. And they're good up to about six months. So I'll get the lid on here, give this one a shake, and then the fridge it'll go. Okay, these are all set to go. They're looking good. And uh, in the fridge you go, at least three days. We'll come on back and I'll let you know how they turn out. So we'll be back in just about three days. Well, in YouTube time, that's no time at all. Welcome back. Three days later, it's time to munch into some of these refrigerator half sour garlic pickles. And uh, wow, as soon as I opened this up, it would smell really good. So I can guarantee this jar is going, probably going to last only about two days max. So let's go in. Mm. Mm. Fantastic. You saw how easy it is to make these. I have another bite. Mm. Mm. They're so good. Like I said, you saw how easy it is to make these. You're going to be getting cucumbers soon. Get out in your garden, pick some cucumbers, make some of these refrigerator half sour garlic pickles, and I guarantee you're going to love them just like we do. So, hey, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, most importantly, share. And right over there, go ahead and punch my logo. It makes it much easier for you to subscribe. So until next time, thanks.